everything I do has to revolve around Islam. And obviously one of the key elements of it that I follow is um, Sadaqa Jariya, that basically means um, ongoing good, yeah, ongoing good um, and how you can have an impact on the people around you as well as yourself for a long period of time, even after death. about bringing all Muslim female skaters together globally and working together to make a positive social change. We saw a gap in the skate scene. I'm sure you might have noticed as well, like it's very male dominated. Like you barely see any women in there, let alone Muslim women. And so with our project, it's kind of empowering women to get into those spaces where they feel like they don't belong or they have wanted to get into them, but they just feel like they're, they're in that like imposter syndrome. When I was attending a skate park with a couple of my friends, we were literally the only women there. And even in public, when I would go past skate parks, it can get very intimidating as a woman, let alone a Muslim woman. And so that was kind of where the gap, that was the gap that we saw and identified. And we were like, OK, we need to do something about this and just kind of get more women into the sports scene and the skate scene, build on that personal development and focus on the spirituality side as well. And Skate Uchtis was not just an ordinary platform, it's a movement trying to create change on a global scale, as mentioned. And coming across these different experiences, different languages, and coming together to achieve one goal of, achieve, of trying to become better skaters and developing in our faith. Once you overcome that fear, you would realize that you're that one step closer to overcoming anything not even to exaggerate but that's how it feels when you feel like you've overcome that fear of skating and being in that scene where you feel like you don't belong once you've overcome that you feel like you can pretty much overcome anything especially as a muslim female as well